In this video, we'll introduce some of the new features included in this ALM Octane update. When creating a manual test, you can now use parameters to save time. For example, here we'll create a simple parameter table, and here are our run results. Each run uses the different parameter values in multiple iterations. You can now duplicate requirements. You can also duplicate items from within their details view. Security vulnerabilities are now displayed for each pipeline run. Assign a user to handle the vulnerability and update its status. Use the Report Defect button to automatically create a defect from a vulnerability. This feature is a technical preview. Based on code coverage reports from Jenkins, pipeline widgets show code coverage percentage and trends. Locate areas of your code that are not sufficiently being tested and make sure that over time enough of the code is covered by automated tests. This sunburst chart shows the size and level of coverage of your different code packages and files. Shared space admins can now set space configuration parameters directly from settings. Until now, this was only possible with the REST API. This means that shared space admins can now customize SAS environments without opening support cases. This feature is a technical preview. You can customize which ALM Octane fields you see when viewing an item's details in IntelliJ or Eclipse IDEs. Here's an example with IntelliJ. Currently, all fields are displayed. We click None to clear all fields. We can also click Individual fields. ALM Octane remembers what you selected for your next session. These choices only affect you. To learn more, check out the ALM Octane Help Center. Thank you for watching.